And now, please join me in affirmation of faith, which is the Apostle, Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With hearts filled with song, let us bring forth our gifts and offer Christ our very lives, that God might work miracles of hope through our giving and our living. And now we have a special performance by Aldersgate Virtual Choir. Receive the blessings we return to you this day and transform our ministries into instruments of your grace. Through our giving, 
May places of sorrow and mourning know the sound of love and laughter. Through our living, mold us into your people, a people of promise and hope, a people who live and die in the Lord. We also ask you to heal those who are ill and sick. Provide a pillar of fire and cloud for those who are suffering from various life issues. We thank you for your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now, we're going to start um, this special ritual love feast. A love feast is a Methodist tradition for small groups, meals, and alternative to communion if your clergy is not available. Well, this, in our case, we cannot gather in the sanctuary. So um, instead of doing a communion, we're doing love feast this time. Actually, Moravians practice love feast. And John Wesley encountered love feast when he was on mission in Georgia colony. We would like to have love feast um, this morning to share the meal together and to encounter the love of Christ for us. And the liturgy for love feast can be found on worship order. And now, please join me in a prayer. God is with us. We are not alone. Christ is with us. The risen one has met us, blessed and fed us on the road that leads us home. The community of the Holy Spirit is with us. We gather with the communion of the saints in light throughout history and with God's people around the world. With brothers and sisters, absent in body, but united in spirit, we pray, Holy One, Trinity of grace and power, Maker and Mother, Beloved and Lover, Father and Friend, thanks be to you, O God. You are ever the Father who gives us bread, not stones. You are the Mother who ne never forgets we are her own. From the beginning of life to the closing of time, you are the one who is with us to the end. And now, please join me in word and response. The first reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Let us read the verse together. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. The second reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Let us read the verse together. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. Amen. The third reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verse 37 to 38. Now, if you have a drink, your drink, we are going to drink the cup after the reading. Let us read the verse together. On the last day, in the climax of the festival, Jesus stood and shouted to the crowds, Anyone who is thirsty may come to me. Anyone who believes in me may come and drink. For the scriptures declare, rivers of living water will flow from his heart. Amen. And now, let us drink our cup. The fourth reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 35. Let us read the verse together. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. If you have your snack ready, we will eat our food together.
Let us pray together. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, you speak to us words of life. Call forth in us rivers of living water and feed our deepest hunger. In trying times, in times of loneliness or confusion, in times we feel most alone, remind us that we are never alone, for you are with us always. Hear us now and pray for us in our weakness with sighs too deep for words as we lift up those whom we love, those present with us, and those from whom we are separated, the sick and the suffering, those who mourn the loss of loved ones, the loss of freedom, the loss of security, the loss of livelihood, and the loss of sense of order and control, the lonely, the isolated, and those who long for a loving touch. God of compassion, hear our prayers. Fill us with your grace and inspire us to be instruments of mercy and hope. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, receive the benediction. As you go forth from this place, plunge into the waters of life unafraid, for God goes with us. Move forward in life with purpose and passion, for Christ is our guide and guardian. Live as people of powerful hope, for the Spirit renews us each and every day. Go with God's blessings. Amen.